Hey guys, Shaggy, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays and happy new year. I haven't done a haul in such a long time, but I wanted to do a Christmas slash collective haul of some bits and pieces that I recently hauled. <laughs> So I was starting off with the holiday presents. This year I did two separate gift exchanges with different friend groups. For one of them, it's a secret Santa that we use Elfster for. You can add things onto your wish list and then it will make the other person's life so much easier, which I kind of do prefer. And I'm so excited to start off the haul with what I got for secret Santa. It comes in a little traveler's case. And those of you who have TikTok, probably have seen this all over already it is a mini gaming console i'm honestly so obsessed those of us 90 babies know exactly what this is but in case you don't know this is a mini gaming console that is a replica of what we used to play with when we were younger this is by the brand mio mini i've seen this on tiktok so many times my childhood was filled with the game boy advanced games and this is so nostalgic it is in this transparent like purple color it's really cool because you can kind of see like the whole wiring electric system in the back here i love that it's so pocket this is preloaded with thousands of games all your favorite childhood games are on here i was never a pokemon girly but i have started playing pokemon sapphire on the gba obsessed it also has all of the disney princess games on here literally i've been playing this non-stop for like seven days now battery life is also really good i feel like i have about four to five hours of gameplay with full charge which is really good especially for a little console like this i just love this gift so so much i originally didn't have much on my wish list i pretty much put like refills for my beauty products and then i saw this on tiktok pretty recently so i added in as like a last minute option and i'm so so happy that i actually got this so but thank you so much my inner child is finally healing now for this second friend group it's a little different this year because we have included her fiance into the gift exchange which i have to preface by saying that i'm a terrible gift giver especially when it comes to males i just don't know what to give them that would be practical which i was struggling for his gift but i really think he nailed it for me if you guys don't know i love blushes which segues into the bunch of goodies that he got me i was really surprised when i found out that he got me beauty products because I'm pretty picky with the shades and I'm a pretty simple person I don't really venture out too much so he got me a bunch of new blushes to try out there's a few but I want to speak about the blush that I'm wearing today I'm wearing the Ilia multi stick in the shade at last and honestly I am obsessed it's kind of like a mauvey peachy shade and it's exactly right up my alley I feel like it just gives the right amount of flush on the cheeks and it looks so so good something in a formula it just makes it look so skin like it is unreal i wore this for the very first time to a friend's miss where i got that little console from and literally my friend was like something is different today you look so good i was a little offended at first not gonna lie but i think she was complimenting the new makeup and honestly i agree it looks so so good so glowy again if you see a change in lighting it's because the sun is coming up we have honestly been raining in new york city for like two weeks now it's been so weird and gloomy for the holidays but the sun is peeking out today so i feel really good the next blush she got me i actually haven't had the chance to try yet but it is the dior rosy glow honestly when i saw the packaging i just immediately guessed what shade it was it's either going to be mahogany or rosewood so i was literally ecstatic af and i was like oh my god is this rosewood without even looking at the shade and of course it's rosewood it's honestly the most beautiful shade ever it's in the same color family as the ilia stick and honestly i love it i should probably try using this on top to just kind of like set in the blush i really really love the color selection he's like nailing it you guys last blush is something that i specifically asked for because he was really struggling with my gift so he had asked my friend to ask me what i would want for christmas and at the time i literally went blank because i didn't really want anything honestly guys like i'm a really impulsive buyer so if i see something that i like i'm just gonna go and get it i'm not one to really wait for someone to like get things for me i just if i like something i'm just gonna get it that's also my number one rule for the thrift store i specifically asked for this patrick ta blush duo before i even knew that he was gonna get me more blush but i really 
really wanted to try this out everybody who's tried it said it's so so good so i thought if i were to splurge on one blush it would probably be this and since he didn't know what to get me i just asked for this i just figured it's like the perfect timing of things plus the fact that this blush is literally sold out because sephora had a sale so i couldn't even get it when i was at the store i was only able to swatch it but i had two shades in mind this is the shade she's blushing and i also wanted the shade she's flushed i believe they're both similar tones one is just brighter than the other he ended up getting me she's blushing because like i said all the shades were sold out and they actually went to three separate sephora's to get me this so i'm so so grateful guys the packaging unreal this is the first time like ever opening this so i don't really know how to open it Oh, there we go. Guys, isn't she so pretty? I feel like it's gonna go really well with my tan right now. I'm so excited to use this. I heard a little go such a long way, so I'm so, so excited. To match with the Ilya blush, she also got me the famous Ilya mascara. It is what I have on today, and I love the bristles. Like, there's something about it. It's, like, extra hard, and it really separates my lashes. Hot take, I actually prefer drier mascaras, and this is exactly what it is the formula is more on the dry side so it doesn't clump my lashes i also don't have issues of this flaking so this has been my top mascara so far now this next thing is from my friend herself she got me this limited edition highlighter from clinique this is for their lunar new year collection and honestly i am obsessed i have a bit of this on the tip of my nose as well as on the cheekbones and it looks so good it doesn't accentuate my dry patches and as you guys all know I tend to get a little drier in the winter and I love how the highlighter doesn't accentuate any of my fine lines. It just looks like wet skin and I love using this with the Ilya stick. I feel like it just looks so so natural on me. She also got me these earrings that I'm currently wearing. They're like these little huggies. She got me these huggies in solid gold and I feel so bougie whenever I wear them. They're the perfect everyday earrings. I've been wearing them non-stop. Honestly, don't even take them out when I shower because they're solid gold. Now the next thing is probably one of my favorite items. Items and it's like so dumb but she also got me this hand cream from the face shop I have been struggling with dry hands recently it's never happened to me before but this winter specifically my hands have been so crusty I don't know what's wrong with it I've tried multiple lotions hand creams that did not work but I really love the consistency of this one it's a little bit more watery but it doesn't leave a greasy feeling low-key I have a little bit of like a sensory problem so I hate when I could feel things on my fingers even with makeup after everything Every step I have to wash my hands because I just hate feeling it on my fingertips which is why I really like this because I don't feel it on my fingertips as much it doesn't bother me as much to the point that I have to wash it off so I've been really loving this one and this is in a scent green musk also nailed it and you guys know me I love my more unisex slash masculine scents my friend actually got me a huge gift basket with like little knickknacks and something for Coco as well obviously too big for me to show on screen but she got Coco a scratch and I got a gift basket full of things in it that I have taken apart now but in it was a super big throw blanket I feel like that's been a thing in all of our gift exchange I love blankets Coco has her own I have my own and now I have an even bigger one kind of a hot take but I kind of prefer using a throw blanket to sleep in the summertime the other ones that I have are slightly shorter it's like four feet but the one that she got me is like five by six so it's definitely a full-on blanket last beauty items that I bought myself they're from elf unless you guys live under rock I'm pretty sure you guys know what these are I have the camel dewy CC cream I'm so excited to try this out I also picked up the camel blush as you guys all know I can never have enough blush i got this in the shade dusty rose and it's really mauvey i haven't tried anything yet so video coming real soon this is the gift basket in question obviously didn't come with the clothes but this is the haul it's winter and who doesn't love sweaters i have been collectively hauling all of these pieces for like about a month slash three weeks now first sweater being the one that i'm currently wearing it is a tall mock neck situation 
it has a lettuce detailing it's so so cute but i'm obsessed with the sleeve there's a black trim all around the hemming the bottom of the sweater as well as the sleeves and speaking of sleeves i have been in love with like a flare sleeve with like a slit and this is exactly what i'm talking about it is pretty flare though i wish it was a little bit more flare but it has a slit and it just looks really really elegant the hem is also asymmetric so it kind of shows a bit more skin on one side i love wearing this with like a high a waisted pair of jeans it just looks so put together moving along with the asymmetric hem i recently picked up this brown sweater that i wore in my last video the bottom of it is also asymmetrical again it looks really flattering with jeans on it's a basic rib knit and the color brown is so so in the rest of the haul of items i thrifted and you guys cannot believe the deals that i've been getting first item here is this really fluffy it's almost like a teddy material it's a quarter zip it has pockets and I just really love wearing this. The interior is also fleece lined so it's so so warm. One thing I love most about this is that it's quite long in the back so it kind of like covers your butt and I remember I got this for like four dollars unreal next item is a another mock neck sweater this one is a little lower this is a sweater from loft and i think i got it for about like three or four dollars as well it's quite long it has slits on the side as well as the sleeves it's a little bit more flare it's a really nice thick material as well this will look really good with a mini skirt and i feel like i've been kind of thrifting with the intention of wearing things with a mini skirt next item is also another gray sweater it's from the brand Kirkland and I'm surprised because I didn't know Kirkland made their own brand of clothing correct me if I'm wrong it's a basic v-neck sweater it's regular length it's not cropped this just feels so soft it feels like it's cashmere but I know it's not I think I got this for about three dollars and then another gray sweater the sweater is a little different even though it's also a mock neck it's a really thick ribbed material and it's kind of like a straight cut definitely a winter staple and then we have a another sweater this one is from is it izod i'm gonna butcher it it's a really heavy knit this is in a men's medium so it's really oversized especially if you're petite like i am but i feel like everybody needs a slouchy sweater this one is perfect it's a little bit long it kind of covers my butt and some change really love the quality i thrifted this when i was in maryland so the prices were even crazier reaching the bottom of the basket are somewhat thrifted skirts from the same thrift in maryland i picked up this mauve colored slip skirt it is quite long it's kind of like a midi i just love the color obviously the waistline is far too big so i'm going to be thrift flipping this i want it to be a little shorter maybe i'll put a slit on the side i really love the lace bottom so i'm going to be keeping that i'm just going to be chopping off from the top you're going to see it in a video coming soon now everybody needs a basic black skirt this one is a straight cut and it's also a quite long i think this is also like a midi it has a huge slit on one side which is perfect because it means i just need to crop it and hem the bottom which makes it a lot easier for me last skirt is a pleather one and everybody needs a good pleather skirt in their life i picked this one up from the thrift store and it's by the brand of fashion nova and if you guys don't know fashion nova is like a big deal so i'm so happy that i snagged this for like five dollars this one also has a huge slit on one side but i feel like i could get away if i covered it with like some black lace i feel like that would look really good now this last item i'm honestly obsessed with and you guys cannot believe how much i got this for you guys will die on my last trip i picked up this gorgeous leather tote bag look at the condition you guys it's insane i did have to come home to clean and condition it but oh my gosh look at that leather it's looking so so juicy this is by a Parisian brand called Marley I don't know anything about it but when I saw this I just knew I had to get it it's completely genuine leather there's a heat stamp inside and there's also so much space you have a mini compartment here that has a zipper closure you also have another compartment in the middle that also has a zipper closure and then at the top there's also another zipper closure that closes the entire bag there's another mini pocket in the back with a zipper closure and what i love most about this bag is that it's mostly made out of leather i don't know if you can tell but even the pockets are made of leather the bag is so high quality i just could not give it up you could also wear this bag in two ways you could wear it as a shoulder bag the strap actually elongates there's a little hook here and if you unhook 
unhook it and then pull the strap through it clicks into this little hole here now you have a longer strap that you can wear as a crossbody and guys i got this for 250 like two dollars and fifty cents that is insane for genuine leather it was already priced at ten dollars but they were having 75 percent off certain colored tags this so happened to be 75 percent off so i got it for 250 and to think i was still debating whether i should get it or not because honestly i don't need another tote bag but for 250 I had to get it. That's it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.